So we're going to kick it off with our first question. Tell me why you started Whole Body Solutions and your choice to address both lifestyle and nutrient deficiencies in patients, as well as adding treatments to address muscle strength and aesthetics. Um, I started a practice of chiropractic over 33 years ago, and I've grown over the years always in response to patient demand and patient needs. So I found that I helped an awful lot of people with chiropractic. It's always a handful that I felt like there was more I could do, which led me to the study of nutrition and application of clinical nutrition. And from there, I learned that there was another set of tools to be had with herbal medicine and homeopathic medicines. And um, several years ago, we had a clinic that was offering multiple services, multiple entry levels for people with their healing and, and wellness goals. And we found that Synergy worked a whole lot better. So if we combine nutrition with chiropractic or acupuncture with chiropractic and nutrition, that the clients just got an exponential result. So the clinic has grown over time, um, to answer your question, in patient uh, response to patient needs. The aesthetic piece was really just a stumble upon for us when we incorporated some tools that helped with sexual health and urinary incontinence. So the goal was to help the 60% of women over the age of 60 who were struggling with incontinence issues with no support and no help. And uh, that brought us to some tools that were, you know, they, they kind of crossed the line between um, medicine and aesthetics. And we grew to see some terrific results and also client need. People wanted natural approaches to preserving um, youth and, you know, minimizing the uh, external effects of aging and so we decided that the inside out approach was really most beneficial and that if we could use tools that worked with the body's own natural processes without surgery, then we were um, meeting yet another set of uh, healthcare needs for our client base. And in your practice, where have you seen the concept of nitric oxide and its significance in maintaining overall health and well-being? So as I've learned more about nitric oxide, I think on my, my original exposure to it was directly related to helping patients with high blood pressure, stubborn high blood pressure. And then I started to learn more about why um, and how and, and the fact that it's important to test everyone because people sometimes have deficiencies, even though they may appear to have lifestyle that supports healthy levels. Um, I started to explore the idea that circulation crosses many systems in terms of potential health. So not just cardiovascular risk factors, um, but circulation affecting peripheral neuropathies, uh, sexual health, uh, mental acuity, female hormone issues, and just the vast array of uh, systems that are directly linked to healthy circulation. Does nitric oxide find its way into both the nutritional and aesthetic elements of your practice? And if so, why is that so? We have grown to understand that whenever we improve circulation, any therapy we do is going to be that much better. So um, whether it's a chiropractic adjustment, um, addressing nerve flow to the lower extremities, and then we want uh, also circulation in the lower extremities, which doesn't happen entirely through the adjustment. So I, I see a direct relationship with the chiropractic piece, with our acupuncture piece, um, we do exosome, you know, stem cell derived exosome treatments here. We want the delivery of the regenerative materials to have easy access. So you want circulation there for aesthetics. Same thing, anytime you're going to work with the skin, um, if you can improve circulation, you're going to help collagen production and elastin and hyaluronic acid. And so there's some direct benefits that way. Um, and now we also have that nitric oxide in delivery in a serum form with vitamin C, and that overlaps with the aesthetic part of the practice in a very big way because um, you're going to improve that delivery of the compounds to the tissue if you want support post-treatment for healing and regenerative um, potential and decrease in pigment issues. Uh, if you've had, I just had a patient call me yesterday that her uh, daughter's been using the serum for acne and all the redness is gone and the uh, inflammation and pustules all improve. So it's, there's a definite connection in that aesthetic piece, both for collagen production and for the antimicrobial and reparative benefits. 
So as you just mentioned, there are a number of benefits to adding nitric oxide in an individual's routine. In your opinion, what is the key role of nitric oxide serum in a daily routine or how might it play a role in pre and post treatment? So daily routines, um, I've had a number of patients start using nitric oxide to address a circumstance like a, a removal of a skin mole, um, a post-surgical wound repair, or acne. Um, and those same clients will come in and literally walk around the office inviting my staff to feel their skin because it feels like a baby's bottom. So people will notice that they look refreshed, um, shinier, healthier, glow, um, brown spot reduction, and um, just general health that, that will manifest when the circulation is improved at the level of the dermis. So you can use it daily for just um, prevention or improved appearance or uh, pigment control, and you can use it also for uh, repair, as I think we've mentioned. You know, occasionally you might do a procedure where you've got a little uh, post-procedure uh, tissue injury that you want to accelerate the, the healing of, and the serum's terrific for that. And finally, how do you explain to patients the role of nitric oxide in their lives and how it complements the other treatments or protocols that you recommend? One of the easiest things we do is a salivary assessment of um, the nitrite. And that opens a conversation because we're able to show them through an objective test and a, a color identification. They can really see that test strip is white or pink or maroon, and they can judge where they are on that. We talk very simply. We have some materials around the office that um, show the pathways of conversion of um, you know, arginine and, and nitric oxide, nitrate, nitride, and it just encourages discussion about circulation and the role of the compounds. Um, so it's, it's in part through testing. That's the simplest way we address and discuss. We also have information materials. I have books around and pamphlets and questionnaires and things like that to encourage people to discuss with us their circulation and the different aspects of their health. I think sexual health is something that you have to invite people to discuss with you. They don't always volunteer information about struggles there. So um, the supportive materials around the office are helpful. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Ann. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. And uh, thank you for having me.